Hey there, guys. It is an early morning today. I have to be in the city for a final fitting at like 9.30 or whatever. It's a warm day somewhere in all linen again. And a quick tip is if you're going somewhere, if it's going to be a somewhat long journey, go ahead and pack a second shirt. You might even want to pack, you know, a pair of shorts or trousers because it's just... Especially if I'm warm and sweaty by the time I get to my client, I'll definitely want to change my shirt. So I am going to hit the road, and I will see you guys later. First, I need to get a watch. Hello. Uh, seven. 1604. And, yeah. Can I get a receipt? Right. Here we go. Thanks. Thanks. Much. Yeah, when that happens. Hey. Just stopped for fuel, gonna get back on the highway, and I'm about five minutes off track, so I gotta make that up. Made into the city and back without getting mugged. I stopped really quick at a gas station to use the bathroom, and now I am headed back, which I'll take the long way back and stop a couple of places, debating about whether or not to test drive some cars. Okay, guys, I am at one of my favorite um, spots for thrifting in the St. Louis area. You can find some really good stuff in this store, but it is kind of a trash heap, so you really have to dig. So we'll see what we get. Good morning, how They get a lot of formal stuff. Some of it's rental, some of it's just pre-owned. Um, I think they're talking about me over there, which is fine with me. But this place is great for scraps. Definitely have to dig though, definitely. So here is a pretty good find here. a decent brand and it's in good shape and if you're looking at a shirt like this there are a few key places to look for wear marks one is the collar and you can see a little bit of discoloration on the inside the other place to look for wear is underneath the arm on the seam one of the other key places is the cuff And looking at those three places, you can make a pretty good judgment on how much life is left in the garment. I think for $3, wouldn't be a bad buy. This is where it gets really fun, because you really never know what you're going to find there. In here is going to be a lot of crap suits, but every once in a while you come across something that is a really, really good quality. And they have all these wonderful specimens to choose from, so it's going to take a little bit of time. I'm looking forward to this. I haven't done it. I haven't rummaged like this in a while, so. All right, guys, just in that first rung. This is what I found. This, which is a really nice Banana Republic coat. And it is actually linen, so really nice, but it is fully lined coat, so not really so much a summer coat, but it's in excellent shape. Sort of this really nice wash brown look with a bit of a pinstripe to it. It has a double vent. That jacket would run you about 300 bucks. They want $6 for it. Really good buy there. Another one, this is a silk jacket by Bill Glass. That would be a really good buy for $5. This is from the Men's Warehouse. It's Andrew Fezza. It's a really nice micro suede jacket. However, that jacket retailed for about $350 and they went five bucks for it. So again, a great find. Okay. I found a couple of things, not having a lot of luck. Suits were a bust, but that's always a possibility. Got like three more shops between here and the house. So I've got a little more shopping to do. 
right guys, I'm up here on 67 for those of you who that makes any sense to. And I'm coming up to the law office where I used to work. Yes, that's right. I used to work at a law office. I was a legal assistant, which was cool. Uh, in title only. There it is. The big black law office sign. Uh, the guy was a bit of a... I mean, he was a nice guy in person. But as an attorney, he was one of those people who made his money getting guilty people off. I had to file everything post-court. So when the lawyer goes into court, he has everything in the folder. The entire case is laid out in order so that he can fight it. Then when he gets done, it just goes back into the binders and the folders and the cases and the boxes in this, like, it just gets tossed in there. So it was my job to go in and reorder it, like, according to docket, schedule, things of that nature. Like, you know, you see the stuff. You see what's actually happening. You see the cases. You know what's going on. And I was just like, I can't. And I was done. And so I, I left him. That was how that ended. It was interesting. It was good to have that experience. That is that. I'm headed up to this Goodwill up here. Uh, the value for money is astronomical when you look at what things cost. And if you have the time and you have the interest and the inclination, like if you know anything about clothes and you enjoy clothing, you will enjoy thrifting on some level, whether it's for you, for someone else, or to reset. store dressing room problems. I found this tuxedo, which is actually wool, which is impressive. It is actually a 39 short, which is pretty crazy. There's a lot of room in the pants. Don't know why I took my shirt off. Okay. So here's the issue. The jacket's just too too long, because in order to shorten it enough, the pockets would look disproportionately. They wouldn't look right. So I'm definitely going to give this a pass. I'm glad I tried it on. Okay. Alright, dressing room experience over. Okay, on to the next shop. That is really hot. However, that is a plus. I found that um, it makes my Pop-Tarts taste like they've come out of the toaster. So, take that heat. This Goodwill store just recently moved, and I haven't been to this location yet, but apparently they say it's laid out really well, and it's nice, and people like it. And so I figured it was about time that I came in here and did a little digging. Automatic doors, that's nice. Okay guys, out of Goodwill. Not as clean as I was expecting. Not too bad either. Didn't have a huge selection, but I did find a couple of nice shirts, one of which I bought. Got uh, one more place to stop, it's just afternoon. Stopping at Joanne's fabrics really quickly. Oh, and I need interfacing for suiting and I'm looking at satins as well. Oh, that was fruitful. I picked up some interfacings that I had much needed. Got a couple of Christmas presents out of the way as well, so... Okay, changed my shirt really quickly. I have to run into um, Hobby Lobby and return something. Then I have one more store to go to and then I can go home. Hmm. And I am back at the house. I'm changing because it's really hot and sweaty. So when I was out, I went and picked up just a couple of maintenance things at Joann's, but I got, I got this really awesome tie, which I love. And I picked up this really nice dress shirt. Really great shape, actually it's brand new. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting that tailored and it should give me some good wear. But right now, I'm gonna go get something to eat because it is 
in the afternoon, like two. I haven't eaten yet. And I am going to, I have got a coat that I need to work on for a little bit longer. So see you guys in a little bit.